Steamboat, world's tallest geysers with 400 foot water show. Witnessing an eruption of Steamboat Geyser is on the bucket list of many visitors to Yellowstone National Park. Kathleen Rinkovich Stubby was lucky enough to cross it off last weekend when the world's tallest active geyser spewed hot water and steam 400 feet into the sky. Rinkovich Stubby captured video of the unusual event. The video shows a column of steam shooting out of the geyser, with a sound reminiscent of a jet engine. Steamboat Geyser is the undisputed king of the Norris Geyser Basin and is currently experiencing its most active period in recorded history. Unlike the predictable Old Faithful, visitors have to be extremely lucky to see Steamboat in all its glory, but there are signs that may improve the odds. Mike Poland, a research geophysicist at the Cascades Volcano Observatory and the scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, confirmed that Steamboat Geyser erupted at 2.46 p.m. on October 8. He said Rinkovich Stubby's video was taken during the second and much longer phase of a typical steamboat eruption. Steamboat behaves in an interesting way, he said. The first few minutes of the eruption are what we call the water phase, when the water is shooting out, 300 to 400 feet high. After 10 to 30 minutes, the geyser starts to go into the steam phase, which can last up to 24 hours with decreasing intensity. Poland has witnessed the steam phase of steamboat eruptions and described a thundering sound of steam as it exits the geyser's pipe. The steam phase serves as a time stamp for the video, suggesting that it must have been recorded shortly after the water phase ended, given the intensity of the steam. Another record has been set for the world's tallest active geyser. Steamboat Geyser in Yellowstone National Park erupted 47 times this year, surpassing the record set in 2018 for the most eruptions recorded in a single year. Steamboat, whose massive eruptions shoot water more than 300 feet into the air, broke the record in August when it erupted for the 33rd time. Since then, Steamboat has erupted 14 more times, bringing its total this year to 47, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. Like most geysers, Steamboat is notoriously unpredictable. But the recent surge in eruptions is interesting because until 2018, the geyser had been largely quiet for about 15 years. Periods of more frequent eruptions have occurred before. Steamboat experienced an increase in eruptions in the 1960s after being dormant for about 50 years, and it also experienced an increase in eruptions in the 1980s. Scientists aren't sure what's behind the recent uptick in activity, but the short answer is that's just how geysers work. Most eruptions are random and go through alternating phases of eruptive activity, Michael Poland, the USGS scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, wrote in an email to CNN earlier this year. So, while interesting, this eruption is not unusual, or cause for concern. There are a number of possibilities for why Steamboat is erupting more frequently, Poland said in July. One is that a few years of heavy snow in Yellowstone have created more groundwater to feed the geysers and hot springs. Steamboat geyser has begun erupting more frequently as spring snowmelt peaks. It's a common misconception that geyser eruptions are related to earthquake activity, but Poland said visitors to the national park shouldn't be alarmed. Steamboat's frequent eruptions don't reflect deeper changes in Yellowstone's volcanic system. The geyser's plumbing system is within a few hundred meters of the surface, while the magma system begins a few thousand meters below. Yellowstone National Park is home to about 10,000 hydrothermal features, including hot springs, geysers and mud pots, according to the National Park Service. The park has about 500 geysers and the world's largest concentration of active geysers. 
The recent activity has really emphasized a certain aspect of Yellowstone. It's a very dynamic place, Poland said, 